Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are starting out with breakfast of all things. Oh my goodness, there's the sun. Um, we are going to, what's starting to show you? We're going to Baby Stacks restaurant, lunch, and cafe. Or all above, so I'll show you what we get. So I got the piglet skillet, so it's a very I just heavy how much, like how much skillet. Price custom pancakes. Uh, chocolate chip ones. Apparently, this is like they're known for their pancakes. So I have some more ones showing up. I'm very excited cool for it. But I don't something. start with this. This does not look bad at all. And here are my s'more pancakes. It looks actually really good. Um, this uh, skillet is so good. Like the potatoes are like the perfect type of crispness. So I can't wait to dig into this. This is what they're known for. All right, so we are starting our adventure off at Area 15. I guess we kind of went somewhere else, but I'm so excited to be here. Omega Mart, Area 15, all over. It's just so fun. But we're especially here for Omega Mart. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, we'll be on the phone the whole time just because they don't want wild recording devices. But that's okay, we'll have a grand time. But look at this giant robot. I just love it because there's like ciphers and stuff on it. And I just want to know the story. And just all the fun infinity mirrors behind me. So I can't wait to show you. All right, so we found the cipher. It was inside the head. If you open up this little department, and there it is right there. So you can decode stuff just like that. And there's a ton of it on here. So this bar right over here, you can go up there and drink drinks while in the sky. That's so cool. All right, here we go into Area 15. I'm very excited. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I just can't get how I can't get over how cool it is in here. And Omega Mart has vending machines now with different artists that are working it. It's so cool. We made it to Omega Mart. Oh, I'm so excited. So cool. Oh, customized bleach. But guys, they got milk and dairy. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Plush guts. What else could you get here? All sorts of different meats. Oh, my favorite. Simply spiders, pine crumbs of. Mm. I love their umbrellas too. They're just little pills. And of course, the guy have Meow Wolf. Oh, my favorite product. Who told you this was butter? Did not eat it. And we got Dunn. Omega Paint. Point. No time. You're done. <laughs> so we got Plenty Farms. Oh, uh, we got Happy Apples. And you can get a little apple that's extended. The travel apples. They're travel apples. So my favorite part is like you just look around more and more and you just never know what you'll find some melted bananas, weird shaped ones, pixelated. Oh, you get to try makeup samples. I look so good. Oh, let's see. Blue looks good. Maybe yellow. Ooh, that one looks even better. Also, he's just salty and grooming his meat over there. That's perfect. It's, it's looking good. It's looking real good. So we decided to head into a tram for you see all this stuff, uh, all the stuff they're experimenting on. Oh, and it's the source, like information. So it looks like they're transferring uh, human source or human energy into source right here. see that they are experimenting. Oh, there's a little donut man up there. But over here you can see they're messing around with portals, the world's colliding. So it's so cool. 
Oh, interesting. There's a giant moss person walking around. It looks like the source has messed them up. We decided to go into the infinizer room where you can see so many different faces that go on and on and on. Oh, it's so cool. And we head into what I've been told is the beach house area where they wrote a whole bunch of music. It's so cool. I just, I'm so impressed by it, all of it, especially just the cool lighting. And then this area just looks like it's like vines. It's so cool. I just, I really am in love with the owl stuff. It's just, I, it's impressive. Never mind, I found their section. You can tell, especially by the music in this area. It's really cool though. So we're walking around the factory and it looks like they got rid of their slides. I'm so sad. But when they head over to the oh this room is really cool setting. So we're gonna head over to the source store, see if we can find anything. Oh okay, so we're we found a secret blueprint earlier. Listen for a moment to the ball of light. My own granddaughter, stolen away from twice over. It's Walter. He's the old Born owner. from the cosmos and to the cosmos return. But listen, I have seen her. So I'm looking around and I found a little croissant light. How fun. A reversible donut. Which I found out there's like a whole storyline with a reversible donut that got free. Oh, they got Pringles? That's so funny. I just love all of them. Oh, 100% quality check, so there's none. We're good. I just love all the products. They're so fun. They got gum. I just, I think it's so fun. And the candy's not overpriced actually, weirdly. A little bit, but not too bad. Oh, the camel's waking up. Oh, good. The employee woke up. I'm so happy for it. I kind of missed it, but oh, good, good thing. The camel fell back to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he's getting up. Oh, there he goes. Look at that man go. I'm so proud of him. Good job. So we just got done with Omega Mart, and then we head to the Meow Wolf shop. Got to sell some merchandise. Now we're kind of just walking around Area 15. It's, it's such a vibe, honestly. Like people flying above you, all the neon colors. It's kind of cool. And then all the little displays around. Like right here, you can kind of just see a cool version of myself. <laughs> but I think it's really fun. And then all the vending machines. I just think it's pretty unique. And then this is kind of like a candy store over here that you can play around at. So we decided to do a quick little escape room, just when we had some time. So we went to Trapped, and they got a whole bunch of different themes. It's a really big open space. Down the rabbit hole, Grandmother's Surprise. Oh. Um, we're doing Pandora's Box, so that'll be fun. But yeah, we're doing Trapped. So it should be pretty fun. I forgot to film um, what I thought of the room. So we did Pandora's Box, which was a really fun escape room. Also, you'll notice this is a lot of the future my hair even changed. Um, it was a great room, honestly. It was a very unique scenario where it's a kind of, they shine a light over onto something. So let's say it was this, and it's just to highlight this area, then that's where you want to work on. You're not going to mess with anything else in the room. And it was kind of cool, you just walk in, there's a big box, you're in an attic, you actually step into the room because they have some special effects underneath the floor. And it was also a very unique experience. So you can win it like five different times in it. So it's like, okay, you get this part of the puzzle done, like you can consider that your win, or you can keep going on and on and banish the demons and do this or lock them back up. And you can keep adding on to it. So you get your full 60 minute experience no matter what, but it's kind of different that way. So I think we were only missing one of the experiences from what I was kind of reading from or what they were kind of telling us. But it was a great room and 
a lot of secret passages and just a lot of effects in it. Like, it got kind of scary in there. There's a couple of effects in there. But overall, fantastic from off. And out of like five, I'm probably gonna give it honestly 4.5. I generally love this room. It was really fun and just overall a grand time. So go go play this room. And next up for our big journey is the escape game. It's really fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. And I know I can't show a lot in there, but it, 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 there are some good rooms coming up. Um, Rugrats and the Depths and even a surprise third one at the end, the Heist. So they're all really fun. All right. And we're heading to the skate game. And we're gonna play Rugrats Search for the Lost Toys and the Deaths. So we just got done with the Deaths. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we're in Caesar's Palace. You can see Planet Hollywood over there. Um, it takes place at the skate game. And honestly, it was really well themed. A lot of unique puzzles. And honestly, just an overall fun time. Um, very pretty lighting in the room. There's an area where you see all these specimens and they're all in different colored jars. And a lot of unique puzzles that I've never really seen in an escape room before. So, overall, like, I'd probably give it a solid, like, time. Like, if you're here, go play that one. I heard Gold Rush is really fun. We're going to do the Rugrats one here. So, I'm excited to see how they do that one. So, I can't wait. Okay, so, Rugrats. What a different experience and a very fun, just fun room. Um... The IP, of course, is attached to it, so you're experiencing it, you first start off in the gate and you have to get Tommy's screwdriver, get out there, and just go explore the whole house and then get into the play yard, and I think you're just trying to get all... And your main goal is just to get all the toys from out the show and place them back and win. It's kind of a fun, simple concept. I know it's based off a room called Playground, or something along those lines that they've done before, but it's a great retheme, and I know they're retiring a lot of them, so if you are in Vegas area, go play that one, because it's a super fun one. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks, you're in a combined group. I'm not the biggest fan of combined groups with escape rooms. That's, that's just me personally, it's not anything bad. It's not like the group was awful, but they overpacked the room, like they filled it to its max brim, where it's like, okay, eight people would probably fit this room, they fit 10 people, and then it's just like, Ooh, there's not enough for everyone to do, which is, it's okay. I get it. it's a big IEP, but overall, just a really good room. So we just got done with Rugrats. Now we're heading over to Buddy V's, the cake boss, to go to his restaurant, so I'm excited. So for the appetizer, we're starting with some meatballs, mama's meatballs, and they look really good. I can't wait. So here's my chicken parm. It looks really good. And then Bryce got a, a carbonara that looks even better. I can't wait to have it. Very excited. And of course, we got to end with a cannoli. A really good looking cannoli. I can't wait. This is going to be so good. And right here, we got Nutella cake. It looks pretty good, honestly. Um, did we get this last time? Yeah. And it's really good. So we just got done, and man, that was such a good meal. I am stuffed, and it was just so good. <laughs> Sorry, I got my really mean husband behind the camera making funny faces at me. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> um, but it was so good, the carbonara. It was so, like, it was so full, and just like full of flavor. And the cannoli, and Bryce got the um, Nutella cake thing, which was even so good. Even like the ice cream. I don't know why, but the ice cream was like one of my favorite parts. But if you guys are ever here in Vegas, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it. So me and Bryce actually decided to come back and play the skate game. So we have to go up the scary broken escalators and hopefully we don't die because Everyone's favorite thing is going on escalators when they're not working, right? <laughs> Here we go. The last game of the night is us. We're those people. Now it's time for our very last room, the heist. It was a really fun room. Um, honestly, it was just the two of us, so it was a little bit harder, but very classic escape room puzzles in there. Um, simple puzzles. There's actually some water effects in there, which was really cool. The environmental was really good in this one, where everything blended really well within the environment. Nothing felt out of place, so like, oh, that's of course escape room game. Like, maybe like one or two, there was one big map, and that was probably about the only thing. Um, the only downside about this room was, 
you can tell it was worn out and it hasn't been kept up. Where it's just like, man, I could barely see this when looking through it. But it was actually the manager who watched the game. He, we talked to him for a second. He was very kind and helped us out. But that was about the only thing about that room. I was like, yeah, we're so close. And we won, which was really fun about the room. And I don't know, overall, I just liked it. Like I said, a couple of things, but it was basic. But sometimes going back to the classic roots are not a bad thing. So honestly, I give it, let's do a 3.5, which is still a great rating. Honestly, anything under two was bad, and everything over two is good to me. There you go, that's, that's, that's how I'm feeling. But I'm actually going to end the vlog here because, once again, I forgot to film the stuff. This vlog was all over the place. Don't, don't mind that part. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, fun little Vegas trip. This is the only two videos out of it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see where we decide to roam and wander next.